All right, let's hear Whatever. the sounder. We have breaking news here. Breaking this is sports big. news. You walked into our studio. On sports Radio. All right. 1067, the fan. Before you announce it, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big is it? Four. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't mitigate it. Right. Well, see, I, I have to come in here because if I do it from the other studio, people can't hear it right. on NBC Sports Washington's feed because for some reason that studio is not I wired in. It. Okay. But uh, the Wizards do uh, hook up with the reserve guard, Ish Smith, two years, $12 million, average <laughs> 8.9 <laughs> points. He's very fast. So it's a guy that's got some quickness and can move the ball up and down the court and can score the basketball a little bit. The guard, knowing John Wall is not going to be back for quite some time. So Ish Smith, two years, twelve millions, reported by Shams Charnia on the Athletic. That's really? almost embarrassing. All right, so Ish Smith. That's almost that's embarrassing that's a two. news. That's, that's a, a two, not a four. I don't blame you, Pete. That's yeah. just, <laughs> that's a point four. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> you asked me out of town. He's I'll a good backup that. point guard, though. Yeah, I mean, and it's yeah. it's it's sufficient for what they're going to need for next At, year because you've got so much money committed to a player who's not playing. Is As, Sato has Sato resigned or no, agreed? Restricted free agent. Still, I still out there as a restricted free agent. As okay. I said in the last break, it's almost like I said this before. They're almost like a G League team. It's like the most expensive G League team in history. Right? I mean, Adam could speak to. This. You're in the Premier League, and then you or whatever. I don't know. Here you get. Relegated, or you get you yes. get relegated down to the that, second division. Right, that's what should happen to the Wizards. They're not even on the same stratosphere. But they're about as the elite but teams in the NBA. Ten to fifteen teams like them. Yeah, I don't care about regards. those teams. I just care about my team. I know and my team is not. But even, my players are not the worst. I mean, Ish Smith. Yeah. <laughs> we did breaking news on Ish Smith. How about Ish Smith getting twelve? I mean, I, I tweeted this earlier. You look at those numbers: forty-six deals done in day one yesterday. It's like everybody becomes their own corporation with the money that they we gotta have maybe money. This is not the about worst. franchises anymore. It's about individual corporations that these guys turn into. That is true. Ish where do you, where do you Smith? I, I, there are th- right now this roster is a thirty win. Ro- it's a thirty win team right now. Drop I can't roster. feign enthusiasm well, over Ish. Forty they had no money. Forty six guys right. signed yesterday. So who the hell is left? Jabari Parker. No, I mean they, even that would be embarrassing. They, it's in. But, you, they need another guy who can who can give you twenty a night on you know maybe not every night but close to it. They need another guy. They need another scorer. They need a lot who of guys. Is, who else is available? I, I don't know. The top free agents available include Wesley Matthews, Enos Cantor, oh, Alfred Payton. Yeah. Oh I mean, man. See if you can get a couple of We've those guys. We've never. That's the can't worst. The money. The the bad thing about it is. The NBA Players Association has done this perfectly. They get their guys paid, and they don't. They have no regard for what happens to the franchises because these max deals, these max deals can just handicap a franchise forever. There's no allotment. There should be an allowance for a team when you sign a guy to such a uh, humongous deal. The worst deal. thing that ever happened to the Wizard was the super max rule. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Think of how much money they have to pay Bradley well, Beal if he would have made super max. third team. Third Team all NBA. Supermax right. plus wall injuries. That's what I mean. Because but even you know what? They gave him the money at the height of his powers when he's jumping on the table and they were this close to making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then but you know what? look what happens a couple even seasons later. Even if they later. had John Healthy. Yeah, the Supermax and, still kills him. Yeah, it still kills him. They still wouldn't be particularly relevant. Well, they'd be a competitive they'd have John playoff John and Brad. Team. They'd be a and then a bunch of the, but the percentage of what the Supermax does to your cap win team. Crushes, crushes it. Crushes you. I know. It, it doesn't make sense. The the, the two don't jive. DeMarcus, NBA, DeMarcus do Cousins something. available. Damaged goods. Can he yeah, play can, can, can he play point guard? No. I mean, he's no, still he going to get that. big money. He'll still get big money. Plus, the Wizards are committed to Thomas Bryant, Dwight Howard, and Jan Mahimi at the center position. Scale 1 to 10. How big is it? 8. This is a good no, one. Uh, well, yes, eight. because it involves one of their own guys. Hit, yeah, it's sad. Hit the it's sad. Sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. I called it. It's sad. Sports news on sports the question radio. Is, what do you think it is, though, EB? I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead. Go Thomas ahead. Sadoransky, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, headed to the Chicago Bulls oh. via a sign and trade. Oh. Though the compensation coming back from Chicago, not yet known based on the reports. This is just breaking, but it's. Thomas Sadoransky to the Bulls via a sign and trade. We'll see if there's any compensation coming back from Chicago. Should be because he's obviously so. That's why they picked up a free agent. Yep. Ooh, 
I got to cross out my Point guy. guards going, uh, were going hot and heavy. Somebody, if you're going to make a move for Sato, you had to. Like Corey Joseph ended up off the market three for 37 for Sacramento uh, during the wee hours of be, the morning. Could it be so. for Chris Dunn? I would like that. Because remember, that, didn't they draft Kobe White? Yeah, yes. I thought, so, they, I thought they drafted Kobe White. So Chris Dunn likely on the market. All right, here's a free agent that they can target that I'd be interested in. He's ranked number 49 on this, this list. Contributed for the Blazers this year, Seth Curry. Hey, can shoot it. That's what you're looking at if you're the Wizards and you want to fill out a roster. Portland just signed two other guys plus Damian Lillard to the six-year 256, so clearly not probably any money there. Indiana was Indiana was kicking the tires on Seth Curry, I saw, but uh, went in a different direction, so we'll see. I don't know if they can afford it. I don't know what this means financially for the team with with Sadoransky, they probably just figured they they are banking on Wall coming back, and they probably figured for that amount of money, he's a backup. Why not just go to a cheaper version of a backup, which is Ish Smith, long term? Oh, I, I can't imagine they're going to start Ish Smith. No, no, I'm just saying, but they're punting this year. They know okay, that. All right, they're kind of they are kind of all in on Wall Beal back together next year. That's what they seem to be building for. Right, but that's still okay. But hold on, that's what still are you a doing with win team? What are you doing Correct. with Beal though? It's not a thirty-eight win team. It could be a with John at eighty percent and Bradley. Okay, that's an assumption. They they they're it's not, not going to be hundred. That's not their assumption. It's between eighty and it's between eighty and ninety. You still yeah, have I, no idea if he's right. even going to remotely get close to the explosiveness that he had. Before. I you agree. Have no idea. I would doubt he would. Hearing from Ted that. and the team is that they are banking on it. Well, that's stupid. Well, they can bank on it all yeah. they want. That's stupid. They're not going to get the return. No, they're banking on it because they're paying him no matter what. Cutting yeah, a check right out of their bank, him. right into his bank account. So do you think Chris be, Dunn is the, the piece coming back? I would bet that's a good possibility if it involves personnel. Just, right. It could. I guess it could be picks, picks or cash or whatever. If it's personnel, Chris Dunn would be likely a guy to be on the move from Chicago. Chris Dunn's not bad. Good defense. Good, great defender at Providence. Yeah. I, I mean, he, he, he would obviously be a decent starter. It's better than Ish Smith. I do, I do like the Rui pick. I love the Admiral pick. Those are about the only things, though, that I'm excited about. All right, so getting back to Kawhi. If Kawhi does go to the Lakers, or I don't know what else they have there. They got mm-hmm. Kuzma and I don't know. It's hard bunch to keep track of what's left. Easily the favorite. Easily the favorite. Odds on favorite to win, right? Sure. I mean, that's your super team. Now, okay. if, he goes, if he goes somewhere else, Clippers, stays in Toronto... Then it's like wide open. Clippers were good this past year. Took two games off Golden State. So he'd be joining a really good team that's well coached. I don't know if they'd be able to pull anything else via free agency. Probably. But they would whatever. be a good team, I think not it's necessarily the favorite. It's interesting that the number one free agent has not signed yet. Now maybe it happens today. No, he's not even taking any meetings today, he said. Not taking any meetings. Okay, that dude well, he probably already knows. That what he's dude do. goes to the beat of his own drummer and God bless him. Because yeah. not many guys are willing to do that. Everybody thirsts for hype from the time they're in the eighth grade on he's, up He's now. so different. And he's just so different. All yeah. right, we've got a couple of minutes. If people want to chime in on NBA free agency, 800-636-1067, your take on KD, your take on Kawhi, your take on the Wizards and how it, uninspired their moves are. Let's think about it. If you're Scott Brooks, you took over a team that was promising. First year, you make a run in the playoffs. You got John Wall. Jumping on tables, the town loves him, on fire. Bradley Beal ascending. And now you have a roster with the backcourt. Beal's still there with Ish Smith, Admiral Schofield, and Troy Brown. That's all I see in the backcourt. Mm. Our joke. John Mahimi joke. Uh, Hachimura they really drafted. Thomas Bryant, okay, nice player. Yeah, work hard, but you're not <laughs> going to be anything special. You know, yeah. And then uh, Mo Wagner. Yeah. All right, let's go That's to all that I have on the roster right now. Maybe I'm missing some guys. Well, it was that Bogna. Yeah, Bogna, we missed whatever. the two numbers. Bonga, whatever played his name all is. the G League. Yeah. Don, what's up, man? You're on with the Junks. What's going on, Josh? Man, thanks for taking my calls. Sure. I, I had a quick question, man. I'm, I'm at a loss for understanding. Like, if they, if, if, if they talked about the trade with KD or, or him coming to Brooklyn so long ago, like, do he call them and be like, oh, I'm going to play? This, this game five or whatever and risk it all. Like, why would they even let him do that? Why would he even change it? I, I was just looking for y'all understanding. 
Yeah, I just think he's a competitor. He just wanted, he just wanted to, go to be out there. He probably, a chance to win a ring. He probably felt like he could go. And I do think he felt, you know, those were his boys. He may have had issues with Draymond or whatever, but at the end of the day, those guys went to battle together, and he wanted to go out with his boys. But would he have to call Brooklyn to say anything? No. 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 No, uh-uh. no because all that is illegal anyway. And and ah uh, true. And if it right. wasn't Brooklyn, it would have been another team that was going to offer him the max. Yeah, you know, he was, look, there was uh, there was conversation when he tore the um, Achilles. There was conversation whether there was going to be legitimate interest in free agents. Remember, initially we're like, oh well, he'll just sign his option in Golden State and stay for a year, get paid. Well, clearly his agent found out there were teams that were still interested to pay him forty million plus to not even play this year. Right, he's going to go to the Brooklyn Nets. To do rehab for a year. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, Eric. Uh, David Aldridge tweeted this morning that it's it's not breaking news, but he said the Wizards are talking to veteran point guard Isaiah Thomas, mm-hmm. and he's hoping there's a fit there. Plan the guy would with be the bad to, hip. Well, they say the plan would not to play in big minutes. By the way, Ish Smith is tiny too. Like I don't know what his height is. That would be probably the shortest point guards in the in the, in the league. What were you saying, Ravi? Yeah, the plan like is what? Foot. Uh, Aldridge says the plan would not to play him big minutes, of course, but pair his uh, p- point guard playing time with Smith. 